Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Turquoise. Turquoise polo. Is this fucking... Is this phone crooked? No, I think it's good. What's going on, YouTube? Hope you're doing super well. Welcome to the channel and or welcome back to the channel. Either way, I'm just incredibly happy that you're here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to lose 30 pounds in three months. We're going to talk about what your nutrition needs to look like. We're going to talk about what your exercise needs to look like. And if you stick around for the end of the video, you are going to get the magic secret as to what this video is actually about and how you can be able to reach your weight loss goals and be damn proud of yourself for it. So that being said, before we dive into the video, remember, hashtag pancake syrup gang is now live. And what this is, is if you like the video, leave a comment with the hashtag pancake syrup gang and subscribe to the channel within the first 24 hours of this video dropping, you will be entered to win free coaching, free coaching calls from me, free entry into challenges, and a bunch of other free things I am giving away to you for free. All you have to do, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, hashtag pancake syrup gang. Let's dive into the video. So number one, nutrition. For you to lose fat, you need to be in a calorie deficit. This just means you are intaking less calories than what your body is burning. That is the only way you are going to lose fat, no matter what else you do. So your next question is, how many calories does it take for me to lose fat? Perfect question. I have a perfect answer for you. I did a free calorie calculator. It's a free video here on YouTube. I'll link it here above. Feel free to go watch that video after you watch this video to find out exactly how many calories you need to eat to lose weight. And I promise you with all my heart, if you follow that calorie calculator video, I give the same equation to my clients that I coach online for paid money. If you follow that calculator, I promise you, you are going to see results. So that's your nutrition. Now let's talk about exercise. Obviously you want to start some sort of exercise routine in your weight loss journey. So what is this going to look like? Well, I'm going to give you a little secret and because you're watching the video, I'm going to give you something free. If you head to the link in the description here of this episode below, you will find 52 free workouts from me to you. Literally, these are 100% free. They're honestly one of the best freebies I've ever seen anybody give because not only do I give you free workouts where you can just do three times a week, four times a week, upper body, lower body, it's a very, very structured program. But on top of that, for every single exercise, I'm doing an instructional tutorial video that goes over exactly what exercises, what they are, how to do them, how to do them right, how to do them wrong. And I've never really seen anybody else ever do that. And again, the workouts are going to kick your ass. They're very time efficient. They're well worth your money, which is nothing, which is free. So please feel free to head there below. Again, I'm going to put the link in the description. It should just say 52 free workouts. Click that link. You'll put your email in. It'll shoot it right to your inbox and you will now have how many calories to eat to lose weight, and you will now have what exercises and what workouts to do to lose weight. So basically, you're probably thinking, well, I already have what I need, what else is there? And there's a reason I'm giving you everything for free. Because here's the thing, there's a reason you're watching this video right now. Normally, it is not a matter of you having a lack of information. Think about it. You could type in on Google, how many calories to eat to lose weight? He'll probably tell you. Yeah, you might have a few different calculations and whatnot, but you'll probably have a good idea of how many calories to eat to lose weight. You could type in on Google, workouts for fat loss. You can probably get hundreds of thousands of free workouts for fat loss. So to be very honest with you, the calorie calculator is not anything special. The workouts I'm gonna give you are not anything special. There's no magic here. So what does that mean? It's not the information that is holding you back because it's not a lack of information. It's a lack of you actually doing what you're supposed to be doing to then see the results from your plan. Now, think about that for a second once again. The information is out there. You can get free workouts and free calorie calculators. The problem is you're not doing the things you're supposed to be doing. And why is that? There's a reason I titled this video, How to Lose 30 Pounds in Three Months. You're going about this all wrong. Because think about it. What happens when you focus on solely a number on the scale for whatever it is, one month, three months, or six months? You're only focused on the end result. You want to lose 30 pounds. You want to lose 40 pounds in two months, in three months. You want to lose number on the scale. So what happens? When that number on the scale doesn't go down, which it's not going to go down every single day, what do you do? You get frustrated. You get upset. You feel like you did something wrong, and you quit. And that's why you keep watching videos like this to try to find some magic secret. There's no magic secret. The magic secret is you're going about it all wrong. You are focusing on a number on the scale when you cannot control that number on the scale. The number on the scale is going to fluctuate. There's going to be days it goes down. There's going to be days it goes up. There's going to be days it doesn't do anything. 
that's normal. And when that happens, you get so frustrated, you get so upset, you get so emotional, you get so irrational and not logical that it causes you to then just say, screw this, I'm going to go binge, screw this, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do today, I'm not going to stick to my workout that Eric gave me for free, I'm not going to stick to my calories that Eric gave me for free. It's not a matter of the information I'm going to give you for free. It's a matter of you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And it all stems from you looking to lose this certain number of weight in a certain amount of time because you cannot control that. And not to mention, let's say you wanna lose 30 pounds in three months. What happens if you lose 26 pounds? Is that still progress? Is that still good? I probably think it is, yeah. But you're, all, you're so set on this number 30 that when during the process, which the only way to get to the end result is to go through the process. If you wanna drive from your house to the bank, you probably have to go through the journey and the roads to get to the bank. This is the same thing. From get to point A to point B, the in-between is what actually matters. And you're not doing the in-between because you're setting yourself for failure to begin with. So what's the magic secret then? What am I asking of you? After I give you exactly how many calories to eat, after I give you exact workouts to do, what I'm asking you to do is stop focusing on a weight loss goal and start focusing on a consistency goal. Because you can control how consistent you are. You can control how many calories you eat. You can control if you do the workouts or not. You are in control of these things. And not only are you in control, those are your measures of success. Whether you hit your workout or not, check. Whether you hit your calories or not, check. You're using that as your barometer of success as opposed to just a number on the scale, which is going to fluctuate anyway. So now, during the process, no matter what the scale does, you're being consistent with your workouts and you're being consistent with your nutrition. Newsflash, if you are consistent with your nutrition and you are consistent with your workouts, the results will follow. Results follow consistency. And again, I said this earlier, it's not the fact that you can't go and do workouts. It's not the fact that you don't know you have to eat less to lose weight. You know these things, you're just not doing them. So instead of focusing on a weight loss goal in a certain amount of time, you need to focus on a consistency goal in a certain amount of time. As opposed to how can I lose 30 pounds in three months, your goal should be how can I be 90% consistent with my workouts and with my nutrition in the next three months. You are in total control over that. You control if you hit your workouts. You control if you hit your calories. So this puts the control back in your hands as opposed to taking it out of your hands and saying, well, if I don't lose 30 pounds in three months, what am I going to do? You're not going to fret so much. You're not going to freak out so much because you know, I'm going to check off and do my workout. I'm going to check off and hit my calories every single day. And if you consistently, time after time, day after day, week after week, month after month, if you consistently do what you're supposed to do, don't you think the results are going to follow? So I'm making this video because I know this is probably a different video than you probably expected. Yes, I'm giving you exactly how many calories to eat to lose weight. Yes, I'm giving you free workouts you can do to set up your workout routine. But that's not the magic of all this. The magic is you are finally going to be consistent with something. You're finally going to focus on what's in your control. You're finally going to be able to say, I am in control. I'm going to hit my calories. I'm going to hit my protein. I'm going to hit my workouts. And I'm going to see results because... You're focusing on the process as opposed to just focusing on the end goal. Focus on being 80 to 90% consistent over the next three months as opposed to focusing on a singular weight loss goal. I promise you, if you do that, you will see the most results you've ever seen in your entire life and you will be proud as shit of yourself for actually sticking to something. So I hope this video helped. And honestly, if this video did help you, please, please, please share it with somebody else. There's so many people out there, just like yourself probably, who just watched this and said, damn, he's right, I need to go about it a different way. So many people are out there thinking the same way you were thinking before you watched this video. So please, if you think this can help somebody, I urge you, share it with somebody. Again, I'm giving you free how many calories to eat. I'm giving you free what workouts to do. I'm giving you this stuff for free. I just want you to succeed. That's all I want. So please set up a consistency goal. And beyond that, one of the best coaches in the industry, his name is Jordan Syed. I'll put his right, YouTube right here. He's absolutely amazing. He came up with this idea and I've adopted it from him. He came up with this consistency calendar. So basically what this is, is the entire month, what you do is if you hit your workouts and you hit your nutrition, you give yourself a red X, red X. If you do not hit your workouts and hit your protein and hit your calories, you give yourself a black circle. So this way, out of 31 days in the month, you can see how consistent you're being. 
This means if you need to be 80 to 90% consistent with your nutrition and with your workouts to see results, you need to make sure if there's 31 days in the month, that is going to look something about like 26 to 30 days of consistency throughout the month. This way it's tangible. You know, you see it right in front of you. So I urge you, make a consistency goal, get a calendar, write down if you hit your calories or not, if you hit your workouts or not, write that down every single day so you can see it in front of you. And I promise you, if you take advantage of the resources I've just given you with how many calories to eat, how much protein to eat, if you take advantage of the free workouts and you do that for 80 to 90% consistency over the next three months, I promise you with all my heart, you're going to see some of the best results you've ever seen. And it's nothing magic. You're just actually gonna stick to something this time better than you ever have before. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped, let me know below. Remember, hashtag Pancake Syrup Gang is now live. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk soon.